Well, Jerry, it was February 8th, 9.45 p.m. Reagan Tokes had just got uh, off work down the street. We know that she was randomly targeted right here on 3rd Avenue, just about a block east of High Street. Prosecutors say Tokes was randomly selected. They told us, quote, she was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong offender. Prosecutors say they're seeking the death penalty against 29-year-old Brian Goldsby. Prosecutors say they believed the accused killer prowled the short north and campus area for an hour before randomly targeting 21-year-old OSU student Reagan Tokes. He was trolling uh, the entire neighborhood looking for someone like her. Uh, who was alone that he could prey upon. Prosecutors say Tokes forced Reagan to withdraw cash from two ATMs, then raped her. At 11.55 p.m., more than two hours after she was abducted, prosecutors say Reagan Tokes was executed, shot twice in the head. Her body was discovered the next day here at the Scioto Grove Metro Park. I believe she was killed at the park. Prosecutors have a clearer picture of how the crime unfolded because Brian Goldsby, who just got out of prison in November, was wearing an electronic monitoring device, or EMD. It's a roadmap of where he was, what he's done, where he's been. Prosecutors say that EMD revealed Brian Goldsby was terrorizing women months before he murdered Reagan. He's charged with six aggravated robberies, the most recent on February 7th, just one day before Reagan was killed. Well, prosecutors say a cigarette found in the victim's car provided DNA evidence that linked Goldsby to the murder. But let's talk about that EMD. He knew he was wearing it. Surely at some point, Goldsby thought he would be tracked to the crime scene. We're going to have more on that coming up at 6. Reporting live in the short north, Maureen Kosan, 10TV News.